You're in for a Trigger Night Performers, a very funny, runs an awesome podcast called My Portland Buds, which is about Portland and marijuana. He's also on a show down in Bridgetown, which is going to happen July 18th, the 16th at the Star Theater. Give it up for the wonderful Joe and everybody! Hey! You need it. Come on, you better look at it. Alright, you fucks. What's up, fuckers? So you, you know what edibles are, right? You're an edible? Absolutely. Fuck yeah, okay. So I used to work for a company called Chiba Juice, okay? Chiba Juice sell little Tootsie Rolls that make you wonder if the universe is real or not. The mark of a good edible is that it makes you feel shitty about something you did in grade school. Like, you get so high, you're like, fuck, I was a dick to Steven. <sighs> Oh my god, he just wanted to play with the ball, man. Fuck. Like, it was probably some low-level Asperger's, no worries. Anyway, so I worked for a company called Chiba Juice, right? And I worked for a crazy Texan named Stan Speck. Now, Stan Speck does not fuck around, all right? You listen to me. Stan Speck weighs 280 pounds. He's been selling shit since before you were whispering in your father's nutsack. Exact quote. All right. So anyway, I grew up in a family where we watched Goodfellas on Easter, okay? You guys seen Goodfellas? Everyone here seen Goodfellas, maybe? Yeah. All right, there's a scene in Goodfellas where a guy owes another guy money, and he just says, ha ha ha, fuck you, pay me. <laughs> that you got struck by lightning? Fuck you, pay me. You had a flood? Fuck you, pay me. So, there's a customer that has owed us money for about three months. Stan Spex says, Joe, you gotta get that motherfucking money. So I go up and I meet him, and I'm laughing, he's telling me this big story, and I go, yeah, that's a great story, man, but fuck you, pay me. <laughs> he had not seen Goodfellas. <laughs> no wonder he doesn't pay his fucking debts. All right, so he gets real mad, and he like, he chests up to me, right? He's ready to do some shit, but it's Portland, so nothing's gonna happen, so fuck him. <laughs> And so he gets all in my face or whatever, and I'm like, all right, dude, please make my day. Let's make this shit happen. Like, I, I weigh 230 pounds, and I'm 5'8". I've got issues. Let me take them out on you. <laughs> and then he, he doesn't like that either, so he, he backs out, and as I'm leaving, he goes, I'm calling your fucking boss. 20 minutes later, like fucking clockwork, I get a call from Stan Speck. Stan Speck answers the phone. Now, Joe, did you tell a customer, fuck you, pay me? Uh, yes, yes, Stan, I did. Listen, that's fine, because that's my money. You just got to say it without saying it. Keep up the good work, son. Thank you, guys. I'm Joe Leonetti. Yay! One more time for Joe, everybody. Also, again, this is a free show, so if you enjoyed your performer, please feel free to tip in the under tip jar. I will remind you once again when we're done with the show. We're